dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally training youtube channel my name is baburao from hyderabad so today before entering to our topic an advice to you so if you want to learn tally prime gst dbs tcs everything perfectly gaining expert knowledge and become expert accountants please follow all the videos and practice all the videos in the same order in the in the serial number wise i uploaded the videos so in the same order you follow the videos you will gain expert knowledge and you will become expert accountant okay and the next another thing is everyone visiting my channel for the first time that is any time there are I mean, visiting my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. If you have subscribed, it's okay. Otherwise, you subscribe without fail and share my and uh, click the bell icon and select all so that you will get all the notifications for the videos which I am uploading every day. And please share my channel with all your friends and all others who want to learn, that is, accountants or students, anybody who want to learn tally prime, GST. This TCS, TCS, everything perfectly. Okay. And then while watching these videos, every video, please watch till the end. Don't skip in the middle. If you skip in the middle, you will know only theory part. And after that, the practical part, which is done in the tally prime, that you will miss. So please watch the video till the end. And after watching the video, if the video is good, please like my channel. And at the bottom in the comment section, you please post your comment about this video without fail. Without fail. So, okay. So, now we will enter to our channel. Sorry, we enter to the topic. So, today, the topic which I am going to discuss is batch wise details and the entries with manufacturing date and expiry date. That is, batch wise details means includes. Everything, batch wise, batch number, uh, manufacturing date, everything, uh, expiry date, everything. So that we are going to discuss now. See here, in the case of, mostly in the case of every product, the production will not be done continuously at a time with all the, with, with, uh, all the products will not be manufactured at a time. So with some, with the, some raw material, some lot or some production will be made and then that production is called a lot it's called a lot or it's also called a batch so for that lot for every lot they will give batch number that is lot number and what are the materials raw materials used in that lot everything will be mentioned and that lot the number will be given and that number is also called batch number lot number is called it is also called batch number so the batch number will be given and the date of that manufacturing of that lot will be recorded. So every product will have batch number and for manufacturing date will be there. And in the case of some products which perish, perishable goods like uh, perishable goods are which are becoming dangerous after some time. They're called mostly so medical goods that medicines as well as food items, these items will not be useful after some time. So the medicines will not work, they will become danger after some time. It is called the expiry date. It is called expiry date. So all the goods which perish or which become danger, which become poison, all these are called expiry. So for a, the such such a dangerous product, the date will be given. So up to which it will be good. So that's called expiry date. So these perishable goods are dangerous goods. They will have the expiry date also in addition to manufacturing date as well as the batch number. So batch wise details means batch number, manufacturing date, and expiry date. So these dates and how to record in the tally prime and how to use them because what is the use of them? See, in this case, mostly every product will be have the numbers because if anything goes wrong, if any problem arises in future, they can identify the products. So with the help of this batch number and the data of production, data of 
manufacturer, manufacturing date. So, so and so date, so and so match number, then they can find out and they can find out what is the problem, why the problem has arisen. And all these they can check up with the help of this manufacturing number date and the production date, I mean, the manufacturing date and uh, the batch number. For that, every production, every product mostly will have the batch number and the manufacturing date. And dangerous goods start, dangerous goods are perishable goods like uh, medicines, uh, food items, fertilizers, and uh, pesticides. All these will not work up sometime, but mostly medicines will become danger. They will become, I mean, a poison after the expiry date. They should not be used by anyone. It is consumed. And food items, they will be consumed even after the expiry date. Few, for a few days, you can use no problem. They will not become poison, but it is not better, it's not good to sell this after the expiry date. So for that, we require the expiry date. So we have to record in that. So when you are making sales also, we have to know that we have we should not sell the goods which have expired. So expired goods, we should not sell. So in the tally frame, we have to, we can know also about the expired goods. So this, how it will be recorded, how it is useful to record the, man, I mean, uh, uh, batch wise details, the tally frame, what is the use of recording the batch, I mean, batch details and everything in the tally frame. That we are going to there uh, now. So for this purpose, so we'll go to the tally frame. So in this, first of all, for the batch wise details to record, we have to enable the function that is enable the feature about the batch wise details. Okay, so we will go to F11 features. In this F11, this batch wise details are all related to the goods or inventory. Let's go to the inventory features. In the inventory features, go to the fourth one. See here, the fourth one, enable batches. Enable batches means, so enable the batch wise details feature. So this batch wise details includes mostly the batch wise, these batches includes batch number and date of production, that is manufacturing date. And that we have to make, yes. And the next one there, maintain the expiry date for batches. So for the batches which have expiry date, we have to maintain the expiry date also because it is given separately because all the product will not have expiry date. So only for those which have expiry date, we have to enable this. And this batches, enable batches, it includes batch number and manufacturing date. And that is okay. And this one is expiry date. So for enabling, we have to enable them both separately. But for disabling, if you want to disable, make it no. That is, make the enable batches one feature. No, both will be disabled because without uh, batch number, manufacturing date of manufacturer, there will be this batch number, I mean, uh, expiry date will not be used, cannot be done. That is why. So for enabling, we have to enable both of them. For disabling, if we disable batches, so both will be disabled. So then accept this screen, control A. Okay. Now the batch wise details are enabled. So these batch wise details are enabled for the stock items only. Now, what you have to do is we have to make entry. Sales are purchases. I mean sales only. For sales only, we will do that. So for sales, we have to do. So before that, we have to make, we have to create some ledgers. So for example, so we'll go, sorry, already I think we have. I have some ledgers already created. You see here, for example, for this, we will take up a problem for this. We will take up a problem. First of all, you see, but one problem I will take up, you see here, on invoice number 64, 2nd June, purchase of materials from Amran Medicals as per the invoice given, given. So invoice is separately given. So this is the invoice. These are the goods purchased from purchased goods from sorry, purchased goods from this Imran Amran Amran Medicals. So for that we have to make the entry. So we have to make the entry for that. So here closing to with TMG, I mean paracetamol 500 MG purchase 
and with all the batch numbers also. Batch number, manufacturing date, expiry date. So when we purchase the goods, the total stock may not be for the, with the, from the same group. So this stock which you purchase may be, may be, may come with different batch numbers. So all this we have to enter. So here you have to enter for entering this. What we have to do is you have to see this. You have to create this. So first of all, you have to create, see here. The problem is purchase goods. So purchases and we sell the goods, purchase account, sales account, party account, and then the tax account. You have to create all these ledgers. So first of all, we'll go to but create. So you can do in three ways. Go to create, go to select ledger, you can create or go to alter, select ledger, then go to the by top one, create. So I already created. So here I'm going to alter. Alter means you can show, we can see that ledgers also. If you go to create directly, we can create that's all. We cannot see. If you go to alter, we will see what are the create ledgers created. And if the ledger is not available, we can go to the top part, top part, we can go to create and we can create create there. Now here see Amron Medicals is created. Amron Medicals, can they create it as delivery details, yes, and everything. So accept and then purchases and sales. And I, and, and I already I already created purchase account and purchases under purchases uh, group. Okay, so this is accepted. And then yeah. this is not uh, accurate. And then, and the next one is go to alter. And next one is in the ledger. And next one is purchases. So purchases I show you purchases. Okay. And then sales. So sales account under sales account under the group sales account applicable no goods. Okay. Now then taxes account you have to create. See CGST CGST duties and taxes. Under GST and central tax, accept. Then go to SGST, SGST, duties and taxes. Type of duty is GST. A tax type is sales, sales state tax, accept. Okay, this one. And party, one party, purchase party. When you are selling, you will get the sell buyer party. So all this created. Now we have to create stock item. Now we have to create stock item. This is very important. In the stock item is very important because we have to create all the batch numbers, date of manufacture, expiry date, everything we have to create in the stock items. So now we have, must be very careful for these details. Okay. So here we see now we'll go to stock item. So now for stock item also, I already created. So I already created and I will do one thing. The stock items I will create now because it is very, very important. So to see how to enter the batch wise details, very important. That's why. So I am creating now. I am creating stock item. The first one is, the first one which I purchased is, see, Crossing 250 MG. So, okay, take Crossing 250 MG. So 250 MG. Primary, it will be under the group. You can take the group also. We can take the group. We can take the group. Group, we can take it as medicine. So we can take medicines and it is purchased in the where it is we purchased in boxes. So boxes I already created. See, boxes I created BX, BYX, BYX box. So this one I created. And then our next one is original details for the maintain batches, maintain batches. Here, sometimes, so in F11, we created F11, we created the, we actually we enabled the batch wise details. Even then, sometimes that will not be visible here. In such a case, go to F12, here, see here, you see, see, maintain, stock items in batches, maintain stock items in batches, it should be yes, already to be yes. If it is no, 
that uh, even though you here you enable the feature in F11, in F11, here in this, in the stock of our stock uh, item when you are creating, so that will not be visible sometimes. If it is not visible, it, it should be yes here. If it is no here, so that will not be visible. So you have to make it yes, and then accept. And here, you have to give the details. See, batches means, batch wise details means, batch number, then manufacturing date, expiry date. So you'll make it yes. Yes means, so batch number, yes. Then manufacturing date, yes, we have to make. And expiry date, yes. So, so we are giving the details and that's right. That's GST applicable. Then GST rate that is set or all for GST rate. GST details, yes, we'll make it. You take it as something like you can take as simply, you can take corrosion and then we'll use some number. That is actual number you have to give. And here taxable, it is medicine. I take it only 5%. Okay, goods, so calculated. I mean, this is creative. It is we are giving the feature here that you have to give when you are we are entering the stock. So this is over. Next second one is paracetamol 500. Paracetamol 500. Paracetamol 500 mg. Paracetamol 500 mg. So this is also under comes under medicines and it is also in, in the what is the um, quantity or in measurement is boxes only. This also had to take box. Then here also maintain batches. Yes. Rate of manufacture. Yes. I mean expiry date. Yes. In some cases, in, in, I mean, uh, except this dangerous, that is like medicine, food items, pesticides, fertilizers, except the uh, perishable or uh, expiring items in such, in the other cases. So this is not required. So while create while enabling in F11, maintain uh, expiry date that we can we need that enable. If we don't enable, it will not be seen here. Only these two will be available. This will not be available. Okay. So in that case, that is not required. But for medicines and the essential foods, I mean we require this. So go to yes, then do yes. You take it as uh, this also, it is uh, paracetamol. Paracetamol will give and then so give the same number. Okay. Because all the medicines will be the same numbers. All the tablets will be five numbers. I mean five rate is five percent. So accepted. So now we created everything. This is all others we know already. All others, that is the jars we are creating all are okay because we did many times. But stock item also we know, but this is a special type because we have to give the details also. So we must be careful. So that is created. Now we will go to make the voucher. So first of all, what we did, we purchased the medicines. So first entry we have to make, purchase F9. F9 we have to make and uh, the date is, uh, what is the date given? 2nd June, I think. It's a 2nd June, invoice number 64. So we have to take invoice 2nd June date, we have to change. Check, sorry, 2nd June. 2nd June and invoice number 64. Okay, then name of the party is from where we purchased? Amaran, Amaran Medicals. We purchased from Amaran Medicals. So go to Amaran Medicals already we created. Amaran Medicals, accept, accept. We are purchasing goods. That is why purchase we have to take. Now we have to take para in close in. First one is close in. So when you purchased and making the purchase entry, and also when you are making the sales, then we have to give the batch wise details for the product selling for the stock. So now we have to enter. And when you sell, automatically they will display. Okay. Now we have to enter. And when the sales, the time of sales, it will automatically display. Then we have to select the concerned batch numbers. So now here go to now a window will open now. Item allocation for that. So there will be two lines. First line, batch number, and this is also called lot number. Batch number. And then quantity, then rate, then total last at the end, there will be amount. The second line, the second line, manufacturing date and the expiry date will be there. And for the batch number, is the new one. So already some stock is existing. So here, the, all the batches with the stock will be available here. Now nothing is there. This is the first one. So we have to enter 
a new one, when you purchase a new product, when you purchase a product, then you have to give that particular number as a new number. Okay, now new number is you. Then what is the new number? Batch number CRN101. CRN101. This is the batch number. So this is the batch number. Below that, manufacturing it by default, it will take that virtual date, but it's not correct. We have to enter after completing the first line. In the second line, manufacturing date and expiry, we have to give manually. You see here, we purchase 15 box, but out of the 15, in this batch number, 10 boxes, in this batch number, 5 boxes. So in this batch number, we purchase only 10 boxes. We purchase 10 boxes and the rate is 50 rupees. Then total is 500. Coming to the second line, here you see, second May 21, we we'll take it as 22. This is the old one. Second May 22, that is the manufacturing date. Manufacturing date. And then the expiry date is 1st September 22. So 1st September 22 is the expiry date. Okay, that's all. This is the end of the list. This is the not end of the list. Yeah, see here. And again, there is another batch. So if it is, there's only one batch, then you can take as yes, end of list. But here, there is another one. There is an, one more batch is there. So again, you have to give new number. What is the number, second number? CRN222. CRN222. So this is the second batch. And for the second batch, how much you purchased? You purchased five boxes, same rate, 50 rupees. Manufacturing rate is 5th April. It will not take 5th with Ours is education version. It will not take fifth. We'll take only 1st April 22. We'll take as 1st April 22. And the expiry date is 4th August 22. So 4th August also here. From 5th April to 4th August, we are taking 1st April to 1st August. We'll take 1st August is the expiry date. That's all. Only two. Over. And the next product is. So the two batch numbers entered. Now we are entering the second product, paracetamol. So select paracetamol. Here also, new number. What is the number? PARA 601. PARA 601. That is the batch number. 601. Again, how much you purchase here? 50 boxes. 50 boxes, each 30 rupees. Okay. And then what is the date of manufacture? So 2nd March 22. 3rd March. You take this. 2nd March 22. 2nd March 22. That is October 23. 1st October 23. That is uh, the expiry date. That's all. only one batch number we purchase. Then CGST, GST. So this is the invoice number that is new reference. So that is the for purchasing. We have to use the seller's invoice number for sales. Our sale voucher number itself is the invoice number. We can change that name also. We can change the format also if you require. Okay. Right. Okay. So the purchases are completed. So I'm closing this. So purchases are completed. Now the next thing is, so this is purchased on 2nd June. Now the same date, 2nd June, we sold to A1 medical stores, closing 250 mg, 8 boxes, paracetamol 500 mg, 1 box. So now we have to make a sales entry on the same date. So as date is the same, we have to make sales F8. Okay, so we have we are selling to A1 Medical. So here also A1 Medical. So I already created. See, I already created. So A1 Medicals candidate data, this way details, yes, and accepted. Okay, so now it is accepted, and then accept, and here also I accept. Now we are making sales. So sales ledger is sales. Then what we are selling? We are selling closing to the PMG eight boxes. See. Crossing 250 mg. Now, when I'm selling, already we gave, we have we entered, we entered the batch numbers and quantity. Now it will show the details. So here it goes. It will show the batch numbers. Now we go here. There are two batches we purchased. So two batches, expiry date, and quantity is given. So here we sold eight boxes. So in the first one, there are 10. We cannot sell the date in that because when you are selling, we have to see that. Expiry date, which out is expiring earlier, we have to sell it first. Otherwise, it will be a loss. So here, this is 1st September. This is 1st August. So the second batch will expire soon. 
So in this we will sell only five boxes are there. So the five boxes we sell, five boxes we purchase for 50 rupees, we will sell for, for example, 65 rupees. So the expiry date and date of manufacture, that will automatically show up because of the we entered. So here we sold five boxes in the second batch, all the five boxes. So totally still three, we have to take, we have to take the three in the other batch, other batch. So after this, again, if we go to see here, so this batch is five into five there, we sold all the five and we had to take balance three. We sold eight. The balance three we had to take in this group that is in this batch. So three, 65 rupees. So this is end of list for crossing. Next second product, what we sold? We sold second one, paracetamol one boxes. So paracetamol one box. So here there are 50 boxes and the accurate date is there is more than a year. So no problem. One, we purchased for 30. So we are selling for 45, for example, per box. So yeah, expiry date and everything. Okay. We need not touch anything. Okay. So this is completed. Then CGST, GST, we will put. Okay. So now, okay. Now what we did in this closing, so out of 10, out of 10 plus 5, 15. So second batch, 5. And three in the first batch we completed. So still there are seven in the first batch. In this, there are 50. We sold one. We have 49. Again, on one nine, one nine. So I will take it as first of all, I will change it later. I am taking a second two nine. We will take it as two nine. So I am taking on two nine. Again, we sold. So change the date two nine. Two nine. Two nine. I am taking. See here. We sold to same A1 medicals. So A1 medicals, we sold and sales account we have created. And now we have to select the sales account. And now we select the product that is select the stock item. What you are selling? Paracetamol, paracetamol. So paracetamol, 250, two boxes. So here you see, paracetamol, sorry for not paracetamol. Crossing. So crossing select, you select crossing 250 ng here so second september okay see here wait one the date is in the date down is second september Sorry. Second September, two fifty MG. The sales we are taking second September. One minute, one minute. Start. I will check up. I will check up the start item because there is something wrong in this. So when you are selling this sales, when you are selling the sales, you have medicals, that is uh, 2nd September. 2nd September, we are selling, you have medicals. And then this one, this also, sorry. this also select, this also select sales here, here, throws in, throws in, use the PMD. First September, it expired, you should not show, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. One minute, one minute. I will tell you later. Now, voucher will take up here, here, here. So, one thing I forgot to make the setting. Okay, okay. A1, I, I will tell you now. A1, this medicals, and then save, save, sales, close in. So, close in. So, this is the mistake most of the people do. Now, you see, it showed up. I, I will show you the reason also. This mistake. Should not be done. Okay. Crossing, see here. Crossing, we are selling on 2nd September. What is the stock available? Already, how much there? There are already 15. Five in the second batch and three in the first batch we sold. There are still, there are seven. Still, there are 
7. See, and then it, you go to the, see here, this, you see, in the stock summary, you can see the stock available only, without any details, no batch wise details. Only the stock available, you can see, see, it's closing, still there are balance, closing balance, still there are seven boxes. And if you see, that is all the stock list, both items are available. All the items are available. In the stock summary, if you go to inventory books, go to stock item, then only whatever stock you want, only one particular stock you can see here, already seven boxes are available. So without details. So we require with details in the stock, I mean, uh, display more reports, display more reports, inventory books, go to in the stock summary, go to batch. So in this case, we can check up the details. So first of all, we require, see here, paracetamol, for example, if you take that, there is only one batch. So select that batch. So this is the paracetamol batch, manufacturing date, and expiry date, there are a lot of time. So here, we purchased 50, sold one at present, still we don't have 49, we have, there is no problem with this. And we go to the next one, go to paracetamol, I mean, closing. Closing item, you go to the item. So the first one is this, what you call uh, the second one, first April, expiring on August 22. So go to that. That is not available. Anything. That's not available. The batch is completed. We sold all the five. So next we go to the another batch, one at one. That is the batch available. Now, in this case, you see here, there are, so this is the batch number, 2nd May. The expiry date is 1st September and we purchased 10. Out of that, we sold 3 along with 5 of the second batch. This 3 total 10. So we sold 3. Still there are 7 boxes. Still there are 7 boxes are available. Still 7 boxes are available. But when you made the entry, the batch is not shown. The batch with stock, batch number, expiry date and balance, stock balance will be shown there. But is not shown. Why? Because we are making the entry on 2nd September. On 1st September, it expired. It expired on 1st September. That is why any stock item with the batch with these details, after that or till the date of expiry, it will show. After the date of expiry, that is after it expired, it will not show up the balance. It will not be visible. Otherwise, if it is visible, see in the beginning. It was visible. That's why I'll tell you how, why. So it is visible. In such case, what we will do? Just we'll go on entry. So we'll sell it out. That is why we should not sell. That is why the batch number, expired batch number and stock will not be visible. Here, it is on 1st September, it is available. For 2nd September, it expired. That is why when you are making the voucher, when you are making the voucher on 2nd September, the stock is not visible. Close in. The stock is not visible because this is 2nd September. Suppose if we sell it on 1st September, that is the date of expiry. Till that day expiry date, it is available. It will be shown. So here, if you take the date on 1st September, so now see that it, the stock is shown because 1st September is the expiry date. So still there are seven boxes. For example, we sell now. We sell. Uh, how many boxes? Two boxes we sell now. We sell two boxes for 65 rupees. Okay. And then what we sell? Again, paracetamol. Paracetamol. This is end of the list. And then paracetamol. Then paracetamol. We are selling. The lot of time is there. One box, 45 rupees. We sold. Okay. So, CGST, GST. Understand? So, till the date of the expiry, that is, Till the expiry date, the stock will be visible. After the expiry date, from next day onwards, the stock will not be visible. First, you did second September, stock is not shown. But if you take say, first September, the stock is visible. So now we are taking it. Now, after that, what we have to do? If the stock expired, we cannot sell. So what we have to do? We have to throw in some bin, some place. We keep all the expired goods and later then, later we will damage them. Otherwise, the firing, I mean, just you know, doing something, sending to some medical waste, uh, some, some 
medical waste vehicles will be there. They will take up and they will do something. Re recyclation they will do. So we can give to them. Or if the seller which who sold goods to us, if they accept the expired goods, so we have to return to them. So for example, now we are returning here. See here, on second, the expired already. First, I, I, we sold on first. Okay, that's why I made the date change. So second, we returned the expired stock of close in. Whatever is expired, the total stock we supply to the supplier who is Amuran Medical. We just returned. So we have to now make a return. That is purchase goods we are returning. So purchase returns we have to make now. This purchase returns, which voucher we have to enter? Purchase returns means debit note. We have to enter purchase returns. We have to enter purchase returns account, the ledger name. But the for purchase purchases ledger, the voucher is purchases. For purchase returns, there is no purchase returns voucher. The name of the voucher which we enter, the purchase returns is debit note. For that, the short key is Alt FI. Alt FI debit note. So we are returning to Amaran Medicals. So yeah. Amrar Medicals. So when they are making the returns, original invoice, that this is original invoice number is 64 and 2nd June. So the date and everything you have to mention, then accept. Now, what you are doing now is not purchasing. So now we are purchase returns. So I have to select that purchase returns and close in. Here, here also, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, date, 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 sorry, date, date, 2nd September. <laughs> that is the thing, see here. 2nd September, here also we are going to return. When you are returning also, the stock is not available. I mean, it is not visible. If it is not visible, how you will uh, return the goods? How you will mention the goods? That is why, for this purpose only, for what? Uh, the expired goods on returning, the returning of the expired goods only, one setting is to be made. After that, Again, that setting is to be closed. That's why yesterday in Telugu video, I enabled that and I forgot to disable that. That's why it did not show. It was showing. After XPA also, it showed. But I disabled that. Now I will show you. It is to be enabled for this purpose to see the XPA stock and make the entry. And after that, you have to close it. Otherwise, in the next time when you are billing, so that will show up. All the XPA goods also will show up. That's why what we have to do is go to F12. Go to F12. See here. This is zero batch. You see, use this is show batches with zero quantity. See here. Now the batches will show up. That is the, the, the parasitic I mean expired. I mean what you call uh, the close in the first batch, the second batch is 222. That batch is expired. That is not expired. Total goods are sold. So balance is zero. Even if it is zero, it will show with zero balance. That's the option here. That is yes. And before that, use the expert batches for stock items. Expert batches also use. Let me show. So we make it yes. And after returning these goods, making the entry, that is to be disabled again. Now here you see, now it is showing. See, first is our next week, second batch, there is no balance. Still, it is showing zero box. That is zero balance. So I, that is enabled there. That is why it is showing. Now, this one we are doing. And five, yeah, because first three, second two, five are sold in the expert batch. And now balance is three. Here you have to check. Then what you purchase? Purchase, when you sold, we sold for 65 rupees. But when you purchase, you purchase by 50 rupees, automatically it is showing 50 rupees. So 50 rupees, we return. That is date everything given. So we return only this. So paracetamol, it is still there is a lot of time. So only this we have to return CGST, yes, GST. So this is here. When you are returning, you have to give the reason. Here, yes, it is given. Yeah, not up here. What is the reason? Reason for returning issuing the note. So you are issuing the debit note. Here I have to give it as sales returns. For purchase returns also. Your purchase returns means uh, we call it as purchase return. But actually, the sold goods he sold to us, those goods are returned. That's why we can just give them at us, sales returns. And then, in it, we are issuing debit note, he will issue a credit note. So, if you tell them the goods are expired, I am returning. If you send the 
written grade not in advance that you can enter otherwise just you keep it keep it uh, blank and when we sense that you need not then we can go to this uh, i mean go to this uh, entry again we can make the alteration okay so like this so against reference so here when you are returning this is against reference the against the bill which we purchase so against that bill we are returning now see here 64 bill number we purchased and second june that is the total amount so see it is the total amount that is the total amount now only the amount which you are returning now so here we have to take this one so we completed okay so return after returning immediately what you have to do use expired batches you have to make it no yesterday that is the mistake so if you don't do that next time given expired goods also you show up so like this we have to do so this is about the batches very important because medical shops food items and pet places all these they use all perishable goods and dangerous goods they will have expiry date for milk is also milk and there some breads and all these things they will show but they will not say it is not after that day it is not dangerous the good system will not become poison it is not dangerous you can use no problem but it is not good so that's why they will they will not mention expiry date for medicine they will say expiry date for food item they will not mention as expiry date they will be something like that use before or just before that is it is better to use before that day after that date also we can use not a problem but it is not a poison but in the case of medicines after the expiry date we should not use it will become poison so like this it is very important to know so with this today's topic is uh, over and now okay this is over see as i told you please follow the videos in the same order and gain expert knowledge become expert accountants i hope you will become all all of you become expert accountants and uh, wish you all the best that we will meet in the next video bye